Hi everyone, um, so obviously if you're watching this it means that we've had to go back into lockdown again for two weeks so what we're going to be working on here is we're going to be preparing for your unseen poetry. So your unseen poetry is the last questions on the literature paper. You'll be getting a poem that you've never read before basically and you have to annotate it, obviously you have to analyse it. If you look at the screen there it's worth 24 marks and you will be thinking about the poem's message, the themes and ideas. You'll also be analysing the structure and the language of that. So it's a poem you've never read before. You need to pick out some key language features, key structures, and you need to write me about three paragraphs of analysis on that. You will then get another question, which is the same poem plus another one you've not read before, and it's a comparison. Now, this one is only worth eight marks, so do not spend as much time on this one. And you don't need to do it in as much detail. As you can see here, you're looking at the similarities and the differences between the two poems. And you're focusing on the techniques, the form and the structure. So this one is not in as much detail as the first question. So we're, what we've got basically in these um, packs of work that I've made for you is this PowerPoint goes in through each question basically in a lot of detail. I want you to read through this PowerPoint. I want you to make some notes on this PowerPoint. You then have um, a collection of poems basically in each of the lessons, which you will be analysing and you will be comparing as well. So you're gonna have a go basically at answering the questions. Um, what I've also got for you is I've got a mark scheme that I have made there, as you can see. So this is the mark scheme for the first question. And that is a mark scheme for the second question there. So I want you to be using that mark scheme as you were going along. And I've also got some examples here that I want you to have a go at grading them using that mark scheme. I want you to think about, you know, how are they using language? How are they analysing the structure? Are they including those things? I've also put in um, a Venn diagram to help you use, you know, to look at the poems. How, what is the poem Brothers about? What is the poem Our about? How do they link? So remember, you're thinking about the message of the poems, the themes of the poems, the structure of the poems, the language of the poems. I've also got in there, as you can see, a range of answers. So you're not just doing this from scratch. We have got modelled answers that I've put in there for you. Please do read through them. Please do use them. This is a major um, part of your GCSE literature exam and it could be the difference in gaining those grades sixes, sevens, eights and definitely to get a grade nine you need to make sure you are on point with this. So you are looking at the message, the meaning, the language. Okay, So I want you to work through all of these tasks. All the poems are on there that I want you to write about. Answer the questions that are on there. Use the modelled responses, use the mark scheme, use the Venn diagrams. If you were struggling with any part of it at all, you've got my email address, cmacaulay at fleetwoodhs.org.uk. We are all in a class now, 11x1, on the email. So if you're just typing 11x1, the email will go to the whole class though. Or obviously on Show My Homework, you can get in touch with me that way. It's really important you do this work because it's part of your GCSE, but please make sure that you take your time. Anything you're unsure about, please message me and I'll get that all marked for you. Okay. I hope you're all keeping safe and taking it easy. Sorry about my dog barking there. Just ignore him. Okay. All right. Bye, Air 11.